On the farm today, we talk with the official opposition critic for agriculture and agri-food for the Conservatives, MP David Anderson joining me. David, of course, representing the Cypress Hills Grasslands constituency. And David, your thoughts on moving into this new role? Well, I'm very excited about this. I want to thank Ron Ambrose for giving me the opportunity, but I think anyone who knows me knows I love agriculture. Growing up on the farm, it's been, we still live on our farm, it's been a big part of our lives, so it is exciting to be able to have an opportunity to contribute uh, over the next while on this file. Now, you mentioned, of course, you grew up on a, on a farm, you ha- still have the farm. Talk a little bit about your experience uh, for some of our listeners, maybe that aren't that familiar with you. Well, I guess one of the things that I grew up with a father who was a farmer who was very progressive, and this was many years of course, ago, of course, but he was always looking forward. And so that's always been the, the kind of the thinking that I've tried to have is that what are the opportunities that we see in the future? How can we best change agriculture in Canada so that farmers have the best opportunity to be successful? And that's what I've tried to focus on over the years. I think that there are lots of opportunities for young people coming into agriculture right now. It's not easy, and uh, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But when I look at the the changes that are coming to the technology, the consolidation of of farms, uh, there are opportunities for young people. And these young guys and gals that are getting into this are really sharp. They're not just producers, they're marketers, they're they're agronomists, and um, they understand uh, that there's world markets that they need to be a part of. And so it's an exciting time, I think, and, and always has been in agriculture. Now, of course, back to Parliament uh, in this new role. What are some of the issues that you want to address? Well, obviously, I'm going to have to get up to speed. Agriculture is very complex across Canada. But I would think that a couple of the major issues right off the bat would be the the trade issues. So there are some issues around canola and black leg with the Chinese government. And I think the Chinese government needs to understand a little bit more clearly that just because they have a bumper crop, uh, they can't be throwing up trade barriers to other people's product coming into their country. So we're going to try to make sure that the government is is um, even more aggressive on this. They've spoken out about it, but we just haven't seen them do anything. So we need to make sure that the, the Chinese government, and when the Premier comes here, that he understands that uh, Canadian canola needs to have access to China, and uh, China needs to be a good trade partner. Um, the CETA agreement uh, with Europe, of course, is another important component. It seems to be moving ahead, but obviously uh, every EU nation needs to uh, ratify that. It looks like it will go through the German uh, Bundestag, so that's good. Uh, Germany shows great leadership there. And, uh, you know, those are a couple of the issues that we'll be working on. Uh, there's some other things. Practically this fall we have a crop that we need to get to port as quickly as possible. and. I will give the railways credit the last two years. They've done a good job of moving that product and they moved record amounts of product. Uh, They need to maintain that. Uh, We didn't have a good situation three years ago, uh, but um, you know, we we know that there there's a crop to move and the railways need to pay attention to that. So we were watching that as well. Um, I guess I've always had an interest in uh, in the contracts with the grain companies. I think they need to reflect fairness between the, the companies and the producers. And so that's been a kind of a personal issue of mine to say, you know, these contracts need to have responsibilities uh, on both sides and and, uh, that need to be met. So we'll be looking at that as well. Of course, the Rail Transportation Review, the written submissions wrapped up on Friday. They did hold some consultations, but I think there was only eight public consultations and a lot of farm groups uh, were disappointed that they weren't invited and then now disappointed that the written submissions had to end in the middle of harvest. Yeah, the the Liberal government, they talk lots about consultations, but even in those processes, they need to be making sure that they're reaching out to people. And I've, uh, you know, I've heard from groups and that the Minister McCauley needs to be more available than he has been. Um, Certainly, uh, he was in our riding here about a week ago. He let me know on very short notice that they were doing an announcement, but then when we got to it, as far as I can tell, it was a re-announcement of money that was virtually already spent. Uh, the lab at the, the research station is up and, and it's not running yet, but the structure is already there and that project is well along and as near as we know, that money was money that was you know was allocated a couple of years ago. He needs to do better than that uh, if he wants to get our support and I guess uh, if he can't, uh, we'll have that proverbial, uh, we, you know, we'll have to be like flies on that, that cow manure if, if he's not going to do better than that. Well, and in general, how do you think he's doing as Agriculture Minister? Of course, only stepping in in November, but... 
Well, uh, Mr. McCauley's got a background with agriculture, so he should be able to move into this file and show some leadership here. Uh, that's what we're going to be pressuring him on. I'd like him to be more available to the, the producer groups. I'd like him to be more available to, to us as well. He hasn't come to committee yet, I understand. I talked to uh, one of the, our people who were on the committee this morning, and uh, he needs to come in to show some leadership, and we'd like to see that from him. Well, David, I'm sure we'll be talking a, a lot more in the days and weeks to come. I've been talking with David Anderson, the MP for Cypress Hills Grasslands and your new official opposition critic for the Conservatives for Agriculture and Agri-Food. For Golden West Radio, I'm Glendalee Allen, Boss.